For the first 22 years of my life, I lived in Chicago. And for years 23 and 24, I've been traveling in Europe. A week ago, I met a man who told me, everywhere in Italy, the sunlight is perfect, and all the sunlight in Italy is an export from Rome. Next day, I decided to go to Rome, and when I told the man, he smiled and answered, always live your life like you're about to leave. Do you think I should stay? It's your decision. There's a bus for the airport in 15 minutes. Okay. Look, it's only for a week. Maybe I could return to Italy after. Do you want me to stay? Sad if you go.
Just as I thought. All flights are completely non-refundable. I had a dream about the plane. It was flying away without me, and I was standing on the runway, waving at it. I was wearing those big ear mufflers and sunglasses. Were you wearing a bright yellow jacket? No, it was orange. I looked like a carrot. <laughs> I think we should stay here. Do you think the lady will let us? She was happy when we arrived. You know, we could make a nice home here. Get a big bed in, put some nice pictures on the wall. We make a bigger window, all we have to do is tear down a drape so there'd be more light. And for you, I will buy a long black dress and we'll go to the cinema or the opera. Or that nice little restaurant on the corner with a candlelight in the window. I could even learn Italian. Maybe sing for you in a deep manly voice. Would you really sing for me? No, that was a joke. I could learn Italian though. How hard can it be? Oh yeah. I had to go to an American school for six years to learn English. But you think Italian is so easy. You went to an American school for six years? Where? Here. What, in Rome? Yes. You're from Turin. You act like you've never even been to Rome. I'm pretending. Are you angry? Nope. I was joking around. So you didn't live in Rome? Yes, I did live in Rome. So then what are you talking about? We were having a good time. We didn't speak about the past. And you never asked me if I lived in Rome. You couldn't have just told me, I had to guess. I mean, we spent the last three days together walking the streets and I'm looking at the map the whole time. There must have been a good time to say, hey Manny, I've lived here before, let me show you the way. It wasn't the right situation to speak about the past. We didn't have any time and we were just having fun. Just fun, huh? Yeah, it's always just fun, otherwise it might get a bit complicated, right? You didn't understand what I meant. No, it was quite clear. It's obviously not worth your time to tell me about your life. Tell you what? What do you want to know? About you. Well, it's such a big secret. You want to know about me? Yes, dear. I would like to know what's so fucking important about Rome that you couldn't take five minutes to tell me about it. What is so... Fucking important about Rome. Okay. My parents sent me here for school when I was 14. They told me it is important to learn English, it is important for your future. So they let me stay with my aunt, who would disappear for two or three days at a time, with a boyfriend, and make me promise to not tell my parents. Once she was gone for a week, she didn't even tell me she was going. She just left me a note and some chocolate. So I went to one of the best schools in Rome, full of rich idiots from around the world. And now, I speak perfect English. The best in fucking Italy. But 
I'm sorry. There's something I haven't told you. What? Look, I can still try to catch my flight if you want. I'm a pretty fast runner. You could take a taxi. I could, but I don't trust Italian drivers. They run red lights and never keep their eyes on the road. But please don't be angry. I often say the wrong thing. What can I say? I'm just a stupid American. I know. 